Rick, did it some Corbin. I'm Rick. Nick Falls on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Make sure Twitter account ring the bell to be program notification squad. How much juicy content do you think we have given out in the past year? Just, just because we're giving it out. Sixty-three ounces. That's pretty close to what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 63 ounces. We could go like in a nice with that. round number. That would be really not okay. Anyways, today we're reacting to a little bit of a um, interview. Uh, this is uh, Kamal Hussan um, talking about Sri Devi. Uh, I believe it could, we know they did a f at least one film together that we know of. They might have done a lot more. May have done a lot more. Who knows? Uh, the, fir the first part. Uh, I have linked the video. Starts with part episode. In the video, it talks about playing climax clip from the movie Sadma. Okay. But they will not play, so you can watch till the end. Okay. All right. Uh, so, so this is an interview with him about Shri Devi uh -huh. on the anniversary of her passing, uh, or no. just at some point they were talking to him about. Yeah. How, do you know how close this was to the time she actually passed away? No. Sorry, had to take care of baby. Baby bottoms. But, uh, here we go. Hello. This is Sri Devi Kapoor's astounding talent. Was not luck. It was well deserved and she worked for it from her childhood. I'm also a child actor. I've known her from her teens. She was still a child then when she came to work with me and Mr. Balachandra, my mentor, sometimes gave me the responsibility of uh, uh, working with her and correcting her acting and shaping her, even her dance moves. When she came, she was not as talented as she is, she was. But she developed every day she learned. I, um, I, I was astounded by her climb and every step of it she worked for. She was very fond of me and I very fond of her. Our paths diverged when she became a superstar in Hindi. She has acted in almost all languages. Uh, in India, and with, uh, in about 27 films with me. Oh, wow, jeez, wow. yeah. They've done more than one. The <laughs> moments we've had together were all in, in film shootings. We, we were working so continuously that our personal life was on the periphery. So the kind of dedication she had truly matched mine. And so, it's no wonder that we were fond of each other. I think I saw her last month. And uh, we are not prone to showing emotion, but somehow we both hugged each other. And I'm very grateful for that hug. So this, this, is, this was recent to her passing. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Sadma's song rings in my ears now. I think that's a great lullaby for this talented, beautiful Sri Devi. That's our lullaby for her. She had a happy life. My deepest condolence to the family, Mr. Boni, the children. I know. They loved her very much. And I know how how much Sri Devi loved her daughter. I used to make fun of it. Some other day when we were in a party, she I found both daughter and mother uh, cuddling in a corner and showing love to each other. And I just was making fun of them. That poor child is gonna miss mm. all that. Hold on. Hang in there, Bonnie. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, clearly right on the cusp of her yeah. passing. 
I mean, obviously they were, I mean, even though you said they, their paths diverged, they clearly had a fond, like you said, a fondness for each other. Yeah. And the fact you, I mean, you work on 27 films together. Come on. A film set is, uh, especially if it's like a, a big, and you're the stars. And yeah. so you're always there. Always and together. And the other always there. Yeah, depend, it doesn't even really matter what the content is. There's some things where you're doing something and it's a lot more intimate. Like I know, for example, when they shot The Revenant, you know, everybody was on location in the cold together. There wasn't anywhere to go. And the suffering you go through together in those kinds of circumstances give a bond. But it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. Any, any set that you're on, even, even if you're just doing a guest spot on a show for a week, you get the gift of entering into the climate you feel is already there on that show. You can feel the fam that's family mm -hmm. on a film set and especially a TV set on a series that's been around a while. So if you've, I can't imagine what it's like to have worked with somebody on 27 different projects, the, the, the closeness you would feel with that person. Yeah, that kind of puts <laughs> everybody in Hollywood to shame. Because shame. like you say, Johnny Depp and uh, Tim have done like, 10 films together. Martin Scorsese and Leo have done right. you know, multiple yeah, films. De Niro and Scorsese. But it's like in the single digits to 10 being the max. Right. <laughs> Right. 27 well, films? Well, the output yeah, is tremendous. tremendous. Yeah, 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 the yeah. output's tremendous. But I just, I'm really trying to wrap my head around that because if you work intimately with just one person and you're a lead in something, let's, let's talk just like a play that I did that ran for, we started rehearsing in January and the, the show closed in June. Uh, the closeness you feel with that cast, uh, you bond. Mm -hmm. um, you really bond with those people. So to, co to collaborated with her for 27 pictures. And I was also thinking about this as well. On the one hand, I'm obviously sad that we're introduced to her shortly after she passed. So mm -hmm. we didn't get to enjoy her work as it was happening like yeah. we are with so many other people. But I'm also, I'm happy that her legacy, you know, we're the recipients of the fact that her legacy is living on. We're mm -hmm. people who found out about her after her passing as our my kids as will be their kids mm -hmm. be, because of this channel. Yeah. You know, it's, we may have never heard of her if we hadn't gotten involved with this. Yeah, we, doubt we ever would have. Right. And we got the, the, the blessing of, Which and we're sad. still scratching the surface on Sri Devi. Uh, is a sad thing. It's like, I don't want, yeah, that's, that's one of the things it's like, we've only been introduced for a year, but if I now, would envision a world where I couldn't watch Nawazuddin work or right. Renvir or know all see some of these films that I now love and I didn't know of that existed that have been out for yeah decades. Um, <laughs> I, I I am sure for people who grew up with Sri Devi, mm -hmm. her passing was as painful as anything you we could have experienced with somebody like Michael's passing. Um, you know, it's just, it's a, yeah, I'm for, sure, I'm ma sure. for millions, I'm she was as big as a kid. I'm sure the country was mourning. Mourning. For massively. A yeah. A long time. And yep. probably still are because she's, it was even the little we know about her, she's such a beautiful soul. Yeah. Uh, and such an innocent soul, it feels like. Yeah. And from the, I remember from the very first impression we got of her, it was an instant sense of. And Extraordinary could, talent made to and be on film. you could tell Kamal Hussan kind of wears his... I don't know, maybe this was just a moment that got him. Um, but it looks like, seems like he's a guy that wears his heart on his sleeve, kind of... At least right there. Uh-huh. Yep. Maybe that... The, so much so that did you see the transformation on his face when he went from the somberness and the sadness of realizing she was gone to the reminiscence? Mm -hmm. He immediately went to that smile of reminiscing. Mm -hmm. like, I, uh, yeah, this was really sweet. Yeah, Very nice. Really sweet. Um, if there's, we'd like to learn more about Sri Devi. So if there's more stuff about her and Kamal Hosan, let us know down below.